federal judge is holding a hearing on some of those ideas. Now all of those concerns about absentee ballots and getting out in time, getting back in time, and being filled out correctly while following best practices for public health are all coming together today. A federal judge holding that hearing about a lawsuit that seeks to postpone the election or else make changes to absentee ballot deadlines. The deadline to request those ballots for most voters is tomorrow. And the Postal Service saying it may take up to a week to get to the voter. Some people may not get their ballots in time to vote. Remember, you have to get it to the clerk by 8 p.m. Tuesday. Now the judge of the state Democratic and Republican parties are discussing changing those deadlines, including potentially allowing ballots received after Election Day to be counted. Now here's what the Assembly Speaker, one of the top Republicans, has to say about it. Knowing how many people are voting absentee, uh, we have some certainty to say that if you send a ballot in and you mail it on Monday or Tuesday, you should know that that ballot has a decent chance to be counted at least through the end of the week. I think that's not an unreasonable place. I think if we allow people to keep casting ballots after they begin to hear about results on Tuesday, uh, that would kind of upend the way we normally do our elections. There's got to be a finite time period. Now, as of now, nothing has been decided. However, the judge said from a public health perspective, the election is not a good idea. He has questioned his authority to reasonably postpone the election or change rules. In the last half hour, he suggested the legislature should be the one to do it. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin Elections Commission says voters have requested more than 1 million absentee ballots. As of this morning, about 1,050,000 absentee applications have been received, with about 350,000 returned. The committee says they expect that number to go up.